Okay, so today we will learn about the basics how to speak Mandarin basically. First of all, we will start with numbers. Numbers in Chinese we call as 数字. So we will start with 1 to 10. Let's start with 1. 1. We call it as E. E. Whereas 2. We call it as R. R. For 3. We call it san. San. It's pretty easy since it's one, two, three. E, er, san. Now we move on to four. Four is si. Si. For five, five is wu. Wu. So let's revise once from 1 to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we proceed to 6. 4, 6. 6 is pronounced as 6. 6. For seven, seven is pronounced as chi, chi. Whereas eight, we pronounce as ba, ba. And nine, we pronounce as jiu, jiu. Finally, ten. We pronounce as shi, shi. So now let's try once from six to ten. Liu, qi, ba, jiu, shi. So we have done with one to ten. So how about hundred? For hundred. Is bai bai. And for thousand is qian qian. So if you want to say six hundred is liu bai. Let's try once. For six hundred is liu bai, whereas for nine thousand is jiu qian, jiu qian. It's pretty easy, so you just need to know the basics, and you can match it out with what numbers you want. So, let's have a small test. What about five thousand? Five thousand. Five thousand is wu. Qian, wu, qian. So it's pretty easy, right? Next one, we'll move on to how we ask questions. For asking questions, we have few techniques. First of all, we have to know how to start with the tone. For questions, normally we'll have this word behind it. Ma, ma, ma represents a question mark in Chinese. So if I want to ask what's your name, I will ask, 请问你叫什么名字? 我可以知道你的名字吗? So it represents questions. So how we start with our questions? We will start with this formula, which is 5W and 2H. 5W and 2H. What is the 5W? The 5W is what? 
What means 什么？什么？ Next is where. Where is 哪里？哪里 ？So if you want to ask about places or some destinations, you can ask where, which is 哪里。For the third W is when. When is 什么时候？什么时候？哦、oh, ，几时？几时 ？How to pronounce it？ 什么？时候 ？Or 几时 ？So this is asked for time. Time. And for the fourth W is why. Why? Why is 为什么？为什么 ？So as you can see, 什么 and 为什么 just one word more, but is but it has different meaning. So for the fifth W is who, who. So when you meet a pretty girl, you ask, "Can I know who are you?" So who represents 谁？谁？谁 pronounce differently with 谁 ？So pronounce we have to pronounce properly. 你是谁 ？So after we learn the five W, we will have two H. For the two H, it's pretty easy. It's almost the same, which is how and how much. How means 怎么？怎么 ？If you want to ask people, "How are you?", you will ask, 你怎么了？你最近怎么了？" Which means, "How are you?" or "How are you recently?" For the second H is how much. When you buy something, you want to ask people, "How much is that?" So you ask, 多少钱？多少钱？多少 is how much, whereas 钱 represents money. So, 多少钱钱 is money. So we will revise once for the five H and five W and two H. The five W are what, 什么 where. 哪里 ？When， 什么时候 ？Or you can say 几时 ？Why， 为什么 ？Who， 谁 ？How， 怎么 ？How much， 多少钱 ？So as an example， if you want to ask， what is this？ You can say。请问，这是什么？请问，这是什么 ？So as you can see， 什么 is what represents object or anything you want to ask. You might be very confused about when, when. If you want to ask, when is the concert begin? When will be the concert begins? So we will start with. 请问 Always start your question with 请问 It shows that you are full of manners. So, 请问演唱会什么时候
开始。So， 什么时候 ？Represents when. Whereas， 开始 ，represents。Begin, and we have a new phrase here, which is 演唱会演唱会 which is concert, concert. So next time, if you want to ask people questions, you can use this five W and two H with a polite tone, so that people will answer what you want and give you a correct answer.